the SIMS Seminar Hall at HPS Hospital Bengaluru witnessed a major milestone for Allied Health Sciences on September 20, 2025, as students and academic leaders gathered for the Pathways of Purpose Allied Health Student Conclave 2025, a first-of-its-kind national symposium entirely conceptualized and hosted by students for their peers. This unique event, spearheaded by the Shama Institute of Medical Sciences, aimed to amplify the voices of allied health learners and foster both academic and professional growth. Attendees included participants and presenters from top city institutions such as Jain University, Reva University, Maharani Cluster University, Acharya School of Allied Health Sciences and SIMS itself, making it a truly citywide celebration of the allied health community. Dr. Mary Dias, Vice Dean at St. John's National Academy of Health Sciences and guest of honor, formally inaugurated the event by unveiling the Book of Abstracts, a compodium of student innovations and learnings. Dr. Dias stressed the importance of such platforms for building competence, professional acumen, and strong ethical standards in the allied health sector. The keynote addresses set the tone for the day featuring Dr. Sumiti Emi from Sri Atal Bihari Vajpayee Medical College on the mental health of allied health professionals. Dr. Shruti HP from Padma Shri Group of Institutions discussing the formation and significance of India's first National Council of Allied Health Sciences. Dr. Nalini Eshwad from Sri Devi Institute of Medical Sciences and Research Hospital on the role of artificial intelligence in pathology. Afternoon sessions brought forward student voices with presentations on cutting-edge topics including innovations in sterilization and disinfection technologies in operation theatres, robotics and minimally invasive surgeries, next-generation renal care and the evolving role of IT technicians during public crisis. These sessions underscored the breadth of modern allied health challenges and the drive of a new generation seeking innovative solutions. The one-day symposium symbolized a significant step toward recognizing allied health professionals as key stakeholders within India's broader healthcare ecosystem. Shama Institute of Medical Sciences, established in 2016, is dedicated to empowering financially deserving, often first-generation students by offering paramedical courses. The institute is affiliated with the Karnataka State Paramedical Board and operates alongside the 100-bed HBS Hospital in Bengaluru. So today at uh, Shama Institute of Medical Sciences, where we're attached to HBS Hospital, and uh, we are hosting a very first kind of a symposium where students from Allied Healthcare are coming in, uh, sharing their ideas, their reflections, uh, things that they've tried out in their own departments. So it's almost like a, a, a technical seminar, but more for students to come and share. So what are they going to learn from here? How they're going to implement this in future? They yeah. also spoke about AI. Yes, so we've been very fortunate. Uh, we've had very distinguished guests who came in since morning. We've had Dr. Mary Dias, who's the Vice Dean of St. John's Allied Health Sciences. We've had Dr. Shutri, from, uh, who's the HOD at Padma Shri Institutes, Dr. Sumati, uh, Dr. Nalini, uh, who's come all the way from Tumkur. So these are distinguished um, experts in their own field who came and drew, did plenary sessions on helping students understand the value of professionalism, the, the, the purpose of having a good mental health, and even AI today. What is AI all about? So a lot of informative sessions have happened in the morning. Morning. And now in the afternoon, we have student participants who are talking about ideas that they've tried out in their departments. And the whole uh, purpose of us doing this is that allied health is never given so much importance. You usually have seminars for medical students, but you never have such kind of gatherings where allied health students come together, learn and share from each other. They are very important because uh, many times when we look at a paramedical profession or they are all called as allied health now, lack the opportunity to interact with uh, people who are of their same background and also to interact with professionals who actually use their services to understand where they stand in the healthcare rung and how important that they are uh, you know, um, contribution is to healthcare. So these kind of fora help them to come out in you know public and share these kind their uh, experiences, and uh, they can take back a lot of things into their uh, minds, you know, and back into their institutions where they go, and realize how important they are in these kind of. Um, professions that they have actually chosen. Uh, many times when they come, no, they, they have no idea what they do, you know, and these are the fora which will help them to clearly open up their minds to see where their future lies. Well, how today's a student to adopt to uh, AI technology? 
So students these days are very good with technology, but the, the point is uh, they do not know how to use it in a correct way. Uh, to make it useful for them, it is very, very useful because it is their future. You know, we cannot tell that they should not be learning that. It is their future, but they should know that it is not the only way to uh, reach wherever they are supposed to reach, either in terms of knowledge or in terms of patient care. It is important as an adjunct tool to what it is. So to learn to use it responsibly is what they should learn and we as teachers should facilitate, I, I feel so. Yeah. Ma'am, you know, medical service is one of the respected services. And you know, today we are finding a lot of doctors and things like that. How do you think the future of future. doctors in terms of jobs, in terms of a lot of things? So, we were, as we were discussing in this fora, AI will never replace a doctor or a healthcare worker or anything because a machine lacks that humanity, you know, to make that decision based on empathy and, uh, you know, uh, acknowledge the person as a human. So, I don't think they will ever be replaced. There's tools, but uh, the doctors and paramedical people should learn to um, take it along and, you know, become more, uh, what to say, more competent in ways of adapting these tools to make them and keep themselves relevant. Instead of fighting that technology, make it a part of their, uh, you know, tool to aid diagnosis or treat patients. Then it's a win-win for both of them, actually. So what is happening over here is, this is like a student symposium. These students are from Allied Health Sciences. Uh, they are different from different backgrounds such as imaging, OTAT, etc. So they have all gathered here. For first session was by the different kinds of dignitaries such as uh, Dr. Mary Dyers, Dr. Sumati, etc. And they had their own views. They talked about mental health and AHS professionals. They talked about a uh, different kind of uh, AI right now in terms of health sciences. And after this, now in the second session, what will happen? They will give their own ideas. They will present their own ideas in terms of poster, oral presentations, etc. Apart from that, we also have a very exciting Chotasa quiz competition just to make things a bit hyped up and everything it's basically this whole uh, uh, thing this whole symposium is for the students and by the students so what are they going to learn from this so uh, what they are going to learn is what is happening the innovations in the field right now what is happening they are all students but they need to know they keep need to keep themselves updated so this is a chance for them to keep themselves updated to understand what is happening in the field right now how they have to update themselves what kind of skills they can gain etc something like that i am here because i belong to this institute giving my presentation today in this conclave and my topic is about collaboration between the industry and healthcare where i'll be explaining about how healthcare is benefit and to provide an efficient healthcare, how important it is to collaborate between the industries and the healthcare and to maintain a uh, curriculum uh, uh, to reduce the curriculum gap between the theory practice and real life based skills, giving a uh, few information on simulation techniques and other operative techniques and uh, also on uh, collaboration between uh, Apollo and the Philips which is uh, currently trending and they have innovated uh, the latest uh, proton beam therapy for uh, cancer patients. So I am going to present all those. Events uh, like this are important for students? Yeah, of course it is very important. Not only for the certificates or for the prizes, but also it uh, uh, includes your communication skills. It also leads. Uh, it also gives you a good attitude. And uh, apart from your uh, apart from the cultural differences, it also uh, gives you an idea to speak respectfully to even people who belong to other cultures. Dresses like you have to keep your schedule. You have to make a timetable and uh, do exercise daily. You have to include exercise routines daily and uh, have a good rest, sleep. Too many things. If you listen to music, also it lessens your stress, and uh, something, and you can prevent burnout when uh, avoiding stress. Stress is not avoid, like in daily life, stress is not avoidable, but you can prevent burnout.